Okay, so guys, this time um, we are going to be watching Mowgli, which is going to be some part of the Jungle Book, Richard, Richard Kipling's mm. Jungle Book, somewhere. Um, so let's let's check this out here. I didn't know they were making something like this. You know, I think they make one like every four years now. <laughs> so because they they made didn't they have like a uh, Jungle Book version with um, Brandon Lee? I'm not sure. Right, like a long time ago. Yeah, just say so. Mm. Oh, hey, CGI or out stories about the jungle. I lived in the king's palace in a cage just like this. I bit. Oh, a dark cage. actors are in it, I want to rewatch it to see if I, who I can hear who Shao Kahn is, who, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> apparently, so yes, the story of a boy who lives in the jungle and can speak to animals, and they all happen to speak like this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a trailer trope, the, the, like, everyone growling at each other. Yeah, it's like, um, uh, and, uh, like, Nando versus Movies points out there's this big thing where, like, it, at the end of every movie, it's always a big gray villain. They ne they're never, like, colorful at all. They're all just, like, gray and big and CGI and everything else. Like, at the end of every superhero movie and everything, it's always just a big gray villain. In the same way, it's like, oh, we're all just going to have, like, growly voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But in this case, it makes sense because they're actually growling. Yeah, and yeah. the snake was more hissy. I think yeah. it's just no. showing like they're right. still doing their animal noises. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, the, uh, the kid can just understand it. what they're saying. Yeah, as opposed to, yeah, yeah. Def a couple of my scripts are like dark takes on fairy tales. So for them to do the darkest telling of, um, you know, Richard Kipling's story is like, that's. That sounds interesting. That should be cool. Yeah. But if they're like really going to make it dark, how are they going to make it dark? I mean, because like so far they've just made it real and gritty. It's like what makes it dark? You know what I mean? Are they not showing us part of the storyline with real Shao life Khan is that makes dark. it like you know hmm. death? You know? Pitch black. I think we have slightly different uh, <laughs> oh, opinions on yeah. this. What, how like, black is okay? So no, no, no. I just mean black. no. I mean just on dark and gritty in general because I haven't read the original Roger Kipling, but I associate. Um, the Dunga book with the Disney version mm -hmm. that had a lot of sort of childlike wonder in it right. and I um, might like this one a little less because it's not clear that that'll, that that'll happen and, but it, I don't know if that was a big part of the original story or how, how dark the original story was before pro probably Disney took it light and this mm -hmm. took it dark. I think it's, I don't know, for me it's more just tone. Like you look at Tim Burton's Batman as opposed to 
Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. Tim Burton's yeah. Batman is dark as opposed to campy. Yeah. Neither one of them are inappropriate to watch, but just the tone and the scene. Now, well, that, Batman that, and Robin is an inappropriate to watch for anybody. It's inappropriate for anybody. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, that's the Thanks for watching What It Is. Um, and please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And um, thanks to all of our patrons who support us on Patreon. Uh, you'll be able to find the link in the description below. And why don't you comment um, your favorite so far take, a uh, real life take on a uh, fairy tale. I'd have to say mine is probably The Brothers Grimm. And let us know your opinion of what a dark movie is. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How dark is dark? Um, Wreck-It Ralph 2. <laughs> that's I'm, it. I'm, I'm undereducated. That's, that's your favorite real life fairy tale. My favorite real life and fairy tale. Enchanted. One, one, the one that they, uh, a fairy tale film that they made into a live dark action. Oh, ooh. Enchanted. Oh man, that's tough. Putting me on the spot. I said Brothers Grimm. I can't even think of any right now. Huh? He'll add it in the comments yeah, if you have yeah. one a compelling. Sorry, one. I'll I'll add I <laughs> put on the spot. <laughs> nice. That's this awesome. one. This one, yeah, this one, it's not even out yet, but it's my favorite already.